guys 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 what's up what's up i wanted to do a quick video um talking about this oregon magnum gator line the 0 .080 um this stuff is cool it's like a square and it's like it's uh I'm trying to show it to you it's got like uh you see like that picture it's got like some kind of other material inside of it um and i think it's really cool it works it works really good i actually i've never really ran a 0 0.8080 line um i bought this because i actually seen on one of johnny moe's setup videos and i just wanted to give it a shot because you know i've tried like basically every trimmer line in the book i've actually left this net on here like for the second half of the summer when i started using this i've left the net on here and just you know it, it comes comes right off beside this and this kind of helps keep it from unraveling so i just left it because it hasn't hasn't affected it yet you know what i mean it lets it unroll because you know it goes right up there on that spool holder right there and um so uh my thoughts about it i really like it i like it, it it's a really good line um i knew that it was super tough i knew that it was super tough just the way it's made and that's why i wanted to try uh zero yeah the zero eight zero because um i knew that it was super tough so i was like maybe maybe if it's um you know since it's super tough maybe i should use your zero zero maybe it'll be as tough as a normal nine five line and i can fit more line in this in the trimmer you know in that stuff so that's why that's why i went with this size johnny mo actually likes this size as well um and so you know it's great i like it i like it a lot it's one of my favorite lines i've ever used you know i've used all the steel lines all the echo lines um actually i think still to this day one of my favorite i think my favorite trimmer line you know i've used the husqvarna i mean i've used most all of the shakespeare like all the stuff i think my favorite trimmer line also i've used the uh uh you all know the the vortex lines black and it's kind of twisty um there's several different companies that produce it copperhead and um rotary vortex you know this company might make it as well it's like a black lines plastic that stuff is super durable super durable as well and i like that as well i went through a whole spool of that um you know i've used this the second half of the summer i, I like to buy line in big spools and then just try it for this whole spool which lasts me you know a long time maybe a, almost a whole year uh, a little less you know maybe six eight months and then i like to try something different and go through that whole big spool so i really get i really get i really get a feel for the lines you know what i mean let me help rivers what's your problem you're stuck on something like that's because you're off the concrete you gotta stay on the concrete um but anyway so so i've tried to like all the lines um rotary but my i think my favorite line overall is still is the uh the generation two of the echo um black diamond the 95 echo black diamond i think is my favorite trimmer line um the second generation now when it first came out it seemed to fall apart kind of easily because i got a little spool of it sample they sent out to me um but the uh, second generation i bought a big spool you know like the next year and man that stuff's awesome 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 um it the next the next spool of line i might buy i might try something different that i never tried um you know i've tried the husqvarna titanium i know they have a new one it's called like the pro xp or something i actually seen on the long care juggernaut channel um might try that uh i might buy another spool of the uh the black diamond just because i loved it so much so far i think that is my favorite trimmer line ever is the 0.95 the uh, echo black diamond line i think is my favorite line i don't know why exactly it's just it's so it runs so smooth um it holds up pretty well edging you know probably comparable comparable to this um because this is 0 0.8080 now if this was a 95 in the gator line um i think it would hold up way better than the black diamond but the black diamond does really good the second generation of it like if you buy it now um it's really good it's, it's pretty durable um you know and obviously it's going to be a little different you know on different regions where you live because the grass is kind of different and all that stuff 
So if I tell you something, you know, you, I think you still have to try, you know, things for your area. Um, but, um, but I like this. I like it a lot. Um, I think it's great. I would recommend it. I actually bought it on walmart.com. Um, I bought it on walmart.com and, uh, they had it. They have it on their website. Hey, just keep going. It's all right. Um, they had it on their website. Uh, they had it on walmart.com. I bought it on there. I think it was somewhere around maybe a little, maybe 45 bucks or something for the big, for that spool. I think it's a three pounder spool. Um, so yeah, that's my review of it. I love it. I think it's great. I'm going to use it until that spool has gone, but I might try something else when that, I might buy another big spool of the Echo Black Diamond, um, you know, cause that'll be probably sometime summer, spring, spring probably i'm guessing probably late spring early summer i might have to get another spool of something else um because i mean i think this is the only trimmer line i have in stock right now which i mean you know there's still a good bit on there but um you know i don't i don't have any other line in stock so um so i'm gonna i don't know i might buy another big spool of the echo black diamond um i really like that stuff i really like it um that you know that's i i might buy that again or i might just try something completely different that i haven't tried which i have tried most things but i might try something else i don't know i don't know like i said i know husqvarna has like that new line that came out um and uh y'all let me know that's what i want post down in the comments let me know what your favorite trimmer line is because i know a lot of us like to try a lot of different ones and i and and those of you out there some of you might say well it's just trimmer line it's all the same well no, it's not true because like when you're trimming along, like they don't feel the same. Like the vibration will be a little different on them. River, hey, back it up and go this way. You're gonna have to learn to go around that yourself. Back it up and cut it a little wider. Um, so, you know, they, they don't all act the same. Like the vibration's a little different. The, the smoothness of the, you know, just how it feels when you're cutting with it. Um, some of them want to grab the grass a little more like kind of grab onto it and scalp a little bit when you're trying to weed eat um, They all edge a little differently So trimmer line is not it's not all the same. It's not at all um, If you have a bunch of employees and you're just sending it out, you know You just you know want to get whatever is like the best bang for your buck whatever and I I understand that I get that um, And you probably should continue to do that, but let's say you're solo like me. Well, I want to find the the trimmer line that feels the best for me that i like to use the best um just because any little thing to help my day go better smoother i'm up for it you know what i mean um so me being a solo guy um so yeah i mean that's pretty much it so review on that um string i like it it's great um i found it on walmart.com it's a little hard to find but i found it on there um just type in 080 gator line uh might be cool to try the 95 line of the Gator line too. I've, you know, I've never tried it. Um, you know, I know my dad runs at a CF3 Pro steel line. It's kind of like a cool orange and black and gray kind of twisted line. That stuff is real tough too. It's real expensive though. And, um, eh, I mean, I used it for a long time and worked with my dad. It's okay. Um, but I don't think it's the bet. I don't think it's my favorite, but, um, but it's good, you know, and then you have all the normal steel lines. Those are, those are good too, yellow and orange, you know, they, you know, square and a circle and the X and the this and that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, you know, so I think it's great. I think it's a great trimmer line. Um, I really enjoyed it, you know, since I've been running it and I have been running it for a while. I mean, I've been running it, like I said, since, uh, I don't know, midsummer sometime, you know, and I weed eat somewhat year round i mean it's not you know i don't weed eat as much right now as i do in the summer or anything but uh just the edges you still have to like freshen those up you know here in the south you still get little like poena weeds that try to grow in the edges for some reason and stuff so i mean i you know i still i still weed eat and edge some even now um and i use it to like touch up the the winter grass that we got to prune back you know let's say there might be a straggler or something you know I, so i use the weeder here and there um and uh yeah so that's that's my thoughts that's my review on the oregon 
Let's get the official name. Oregon Magnum Gator Line. This is the square stuff. I don't know. I don't know if they have it in like another shape or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's that's my thoughts on the square one. So y'all are awesome. Let's keep hustling. See you later.